，身高多高呀？跟我差一米七二大吧？呃，没有比你高，差不多，差不多，差不多，一米七二，是一个级别的，是一个一个级别的。你练过没有？没有，没有，没有，没有，没练过，没练过。别骗我啊！他绝对不骗你。是那样的啊，没练过，没练。All right, here we go. So look at him; he's a little shy. Ooh, good push kick by Mei Li. Now, construction workers have construction worker strength, right? I don't even know how to you see that. You see that? I don't even know how to describe it. But so she got to be careful still. Oof, very telegraph, but there is strength behind his punches. You know, I don't know what kind of construction work he does, but it's definitely something that can give Mei Li a knockout. And as we know, Mei Li sometimes drops her hands, man. Thank goodness this is a kickboxing match, so she's able to distract the guy with kicks. Look at that. Ooh, there we go. That's good head movement. Oh, dude, her, his back fist almost hit her, man. So, good leg kick. Obviously, a guy like him probably watches boxing, probably watches fighting. So, even if he doesn't have good training, he at least kind of can mimic, right? Mimicry is very important. Some people just naturally can mimic. We had an example of that on Street Beefs. Anyways, so, oh, he's turning his back. That's good. But he keeps swinging around with the back fist, man. So you got to be careful. That was a great cross that may lead through. Okay. I like to see her add kicks to her repertoire. That kick was a little too telegraphic. If it were any other person trained, would have spotted that. Oh, looks like he is a little bit not feeling it anymore are they gonna let it continue um i think this is another fellow construction worker notice the tat on his chest so all right let's see what's gonna happen are we gonna continue are they gonna continue man wow okay here we go look at that he's much more conservative now oh he's kicking back he's kicking back it's so f oh yeah exactly it's so funny to see what happens when people who don't kick Try to kick back. Notice they drop both their hands and she capitalized on it immediately. He actually calf kicked her, bro. Oh my goodness. For a guy with no training. Ooh, good overhand, right? By Mei Li. And, ooh, see? You see that? She even saw the telegraph in that kick and she checked it. Look at In the pocket, Mei Li. Just, just going, just going. There you go. If Mei Li didn't drop her hands too much... She could totally destroy him in the pocket, but the problem is, she's. I don't think she's a good pocket fighter, knowing that she, look at that, you see that? She drops her hands too much, man. Her coach needs to teach her. Do you see that? She ate a counter back. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. She ate a counter. Ow, she felt that one. Look at that. She felt that one. Ooh. But again, telegraphing that kick, which gets him countered. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Good follow-up by Melee. Good job. Dude, Melee almost got countered again. Her head movement saved her twice. So look at that. She's a little angry. Uh, you can't just rely on head movement, man. You have to have your hands there sometimes when head movement fails you. Look at that. This construction worker got grit, man. Ooh. He's trying to he's trying to um run away. Basically, he's trying to circle out, but he doesn't know how to circle out because he's not trained. If you like what you saw, guys, make sure to press a like and press a share. Now, for anyone, would you ever take part in this type of match? Especially for my lady viewers. I have some lady viewers. Would you ever take a challenge match from a construction worker? So, while you guys think about your answers, I'll tell you my construction worker story. In 2014, I believe it was. Yes, 2014. I was taking my first Krav Maga class. So for those of you who wondered if Jerry's ever taken Krav Maga, yes, I took a Krav Maga class in 2014. Now, this was a very funny Krav Maga class in a working class neighborhood, immigrant Eastern European neighborhood in New York. A lot of those workers were construction workers. That was my experience with construction workers in a Krav Maga context. At that point, you guys know, two years before that, I had just rediscovered that I need to continue my martial arts journey. So at that point in my martial arts journey, I had Kung Fu, Karate, a little bit of American Kempo, a little bit of Jiu Jitsu, and a little bit of Muay Thai. That was it. I don't even think I had taken Wing Chun at that point yet. So I was still very new to this type of, you know, hitting each other back type of, right? I got into a lot of fights as a kid, but sparring and all that, not too familiar with. This Krav Maga class was, as you guys know, probably pretty whack, right? The stuff they were teaching was just not too practical. Lots of 
pretend strikes to the eye, some pretend strikes to the throat, some pretend strikes to the G-R-O-I-N. And as you guys know, maybe not here, but here with the eyes and with the G-R-O-I-N, most people have a reflex, right? So teaching people to target that area and not teaching them how to actually fight and step and do all the other stuff related to fighting is just not a good idea. So why did I go to this Krav Maga class? Because these two Catholic girls who are living in New York, they found out that I was a martial arts person. So they wanted to take me to this Krav Maga class, almost like kind of like a date. One of those girls was having kind of an on and off relationship with this construction worker guy who was also training at the Krav Maga place, but he wasn't there that day. Later he found out and I actually met him later. I could tell, you know, sometimes people just give you that look. I can tell you didn't like me. He's like, oh, this stupid Kung Fu dude, you know? He didn't do anything or say anything when I was there. But once I left, apparently he was really talking smack about me, like talking a lot of smack. My friend was still there with them, right? And, and my friend was like, Jerry, man, this guy was talking so much smack about you. I was so uncomfortable. And I told him, I was like, dude, if you don't want to hang out with those people, don't even bother, man. Because my other friend who was in New York at the time was looking for friends. That's why I was like, oh, these two cool Catholic girls, you should meet them. And then they seem to have a really cool other person. But that person turned out to be a really not so cool construction worker who seemed to not like me. So I tell you the story because maybe if I stayed in New York, things would have evolved and I would have taken on this construction worker Krav Maga guy. What do you guys think? Now, obviously at the time, I already told you my martial arts history. I don't think I'd be able to beat him, but then again, just because he's a construction worker doesn't mean he knows how to fight. I really wonder. So you guys in the comments tell me, would a guy with Kung Fu Karate, a little bit of Kempo, and then some Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai be able to beat our construction worker Krav Maga guy? And that's ultimately why I thought this was a cool match because we have a boxing girl. Obviously she's done a lot of sparring, right? Versus a construction worker guy who's probably never trained. It looks like he's probably sparred a little, you know, on the construction side. Some guys just like to throw down. I live vicariously through Zhang Mei Li. And to that guy, I think he eventually got into coding. He realized maybe he was doing the best with his life, just being a construction worker and hitting on random Asian guys. I wish him the best of luck, but I hope he also stopped taking those Krav Maga classes because if he wants to challenge me now, he needs some boxing. I'm sure if me and him went for it now, I wouldn't even know what my strategy was. I guess I would keep the distance, look at his strikes, right? Look to see if he's got a telegraph and then I'll decide would I strike with him or would I try to take him down? It'd be an interesting match. So <laughs> maybe if this channel gets to half a million subscribers, I'll do a little sparring session with that construction worker Krav Maga guy who used to not like me. He probably still doesn't like me, but you know, I don't know how he's been all these years. If you like this story, share with me your own stories. Do you have any Krav Maga stories or construction worker stories? Make sure to press a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Okay, guys, looking forward to talking to you guys. Bye, Fight Fam.